Hi students, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple data chart and graph like this for your lab report. So first you are going to go to your blank slide, go up here where it says insert and click on chart and click on column graph. When you do that it's going to give you a pre-filled graph like this. Let's resize it so it doesn't take up the whole slide. Then you're going to click on this little arrow here where it says open in sheets. It's going to take you here. When you get here, we are going to reconfigure some of these columns. So notice how the x axis is already labeled team 1, team 2, team 3, team 4. Instead of those labels, we're going to call this prototype 1, prototype 2, prototype 3, and final design. Just like that. And notice how it already uh, relabeled our graph for us, which is really awesome. Um, we are actually going to get rid of this column because we don't have two things we're comparing. So go ahead and you just right click that and you, you click delete column like I did. We're going to rename this a uh, height of tower because we want to show the height of the tower not the periods and in parentheses you're going to put the units that we use to measure in this case we used inches so go ahead and put parentheses inches and when you do that it is going to automatically change the chart to show that uh, and here you're going to insert the data so for prototype one maybe you had zero inches and you don't have to put the units you can just put the numbers and it will automatically change the graph for you which is really cool Let's say the second tower was 15 inches and the third tower was say 20 inches and the final tower let's say you got 25 inches okay and so every time you change the height just hit enter and it will automatically update the chart for you which is really cool Okay, and then if you go back to your uh, other, your slide, notice how it's still the old uh, chart, but if you hit update, it is going to update it to the latest chart, which is really awesome. Okay, now we need to put, we have a graph, we also need to put a data table. Oh, one more thing that you want to be aware of, notice how the title of the graph, it says point scored. This, this graph does not show point scored, we want to show the height of the tower. So let's go back to our, uh, our sheets here, and we're going to change the title. Let's let this load a little bit. Okay, and all you have to do is you just click here, and you put height of the spaghetti towers and there you go it will change it for you um, you can also see here you can change you know the font and uh, colors and things like that which is you know I'll let you guys kind of tinker with it but um, the most important thing is is that the title is correct okay Okay, uh, next uh, we need the data table. So as you can see here, oh, and let me update this. We want to put the data table next to the graph so we can reference it as we look at the graph. So all you have to do is you go back to the chart. You are going to highlight, click, hold, and highlight all the cells that have your data. You're going to do Command C or you can do right click copy. And then notice how it has the dotted lines. That means that it was copied. You go back to your slide and you click Command V or Paste. And then it'll ask you link to spreadsheet and then you can click Yes. And notice how it brings in the data table for you like this. And you can adjust it so that it, it fits the slide. And that's it. Um, now you know how to create data table and graphs, so now you guys are equipped to successfully complete this part of the lab report. Let me know if you have any questions.